I wanted to do a penetration test with some buckshot. I'm going to use nine pellet. This is Rio Royal Buck, some of the cheaper stuff you can get. Uh, they're claiming it is 1,345 feet per second. Um, I'm also going to, if I can fit it on there, I'm going to also use some four buck. Let's see how much smaller. It's supposed to be 21 pellets in this factory load. Same, they're claiming the same velocity. 1,345 feet per second. Uh, for lack of something better to use for the penetration test, I'm going to put this stack of uh, pine boards up against something solid. And we'll see just how many it will go through. Uh, and since I'm out here doing this, you know, we may as well do some more stuff. So uh, just a straight up CCI 40 grain Blazer 22 coming out of a rifle that might be a 22 inch barrel or so um, and then I'm going to use a full metal jacket 9 millimeter 115 grain and then I'm also going to use spear gold dot uh, this is this is actually the 40 cal box but anyway it's a 9 millimeter 124 grain plus P I'll shoot out of the Glock 17 and my camera person is in school right now, so you're not going to get to see uh, the shooting, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to chronograph everything. Hopefully the shot flying over this will work. I put a little guard there to try to protect my screen. So I'll get some numbers and I'll do some shooting and then we can tear that wood apart. Well, I got the 22 on the wood. Uh, the gold dot, the full metal jacket, and here's the Remington uh, 115 grain full metal jacket, and then the 124 grain spear gold dot uh, plus P. Uh, as some of you may have figured out already, uh, 9 millimeter versus wood. Let's see, penetration wise, we have almost exactly 7 inches right there. The both of the let's see the, the big ones down here. Both of the nine millimeters blow right through. So I am going to put another four and a half inches of wood in front of it. I'll strap it all tight together and see what we get uh, with another four and a half inches of wood. See if the nine millimeters continue to, to go right through. The uh, buckshot did not make it all the way through, so we will be able to see just how far they went. And the 22 did not go all the way through either. So, we'll figure that out. I got four and a half more inches of wood put on there. Uh, as you can see, it's up against a heavy steel pipe, so it's not going to give. Uh, I've been doing all of this shooting from 10 yards away. 30 feet. So... I will grab the Glock and put a gold dot and an FMJ on there and see if they still make it all the way through. Well, it did stop them. The gold dot was fired first. I just turned it on the side because I'm actually going to shoot a four buck shot over here so I can maybe get one or two pellets and see what kind of uh, penetration the four buck gives. Um, I'm hoping that the gold dot going through didn't compromise the strength of the wood when I shot the full metal jacket that went second. But anyway, I'll shoot the four buck and then we'll start tearing things apart. Well, I got some numbers here. The CCI 40 grain 22 long rifle, uh, $11.99, Remington 115 grain 9 mil, FMJ is $11.42. Spear Gold Dot 124 plus P, 1201. The real buckshot, nine pellet buck, is uh, 1294. That's uh, close to the, it says 1350 on the box, or 1345 on the box. And I had a, a Remington shell. Uh, shame on you, Remington. Only uh, 1253. Okay, I went down through, labeled everything, uh, measured the distance of uh, penetration. We'll take our three boards off here that we slowed the 9 millimeter down with. So, this is what we were shooting at. 
our first board of course everything most everything not sure if that's a four buck that didn't even make it through the first board or not but uh, might be a piece of the wad or something so there's number one and number two you know, 22 so going along uh, those are the two original nines that just blasted right through so we'll keep an eye on the two that went through the other boards first our four buck that started off we'll watch those this is our double lot once again everything's still trucking through so into board number four here uh, the original three four buck stopped um, so that through three boards that's two and a one quarter inches of penetration um, this one was also a four buck over here it ended up going it stopped it put it a little indent right there so that actually got three inches so the four buck in between three and two and a quarter inches of penetration so you know less than three going through solid wood um, everything else you know 22 everything's still blasting right along okay now the double lot buck it had one of the two that I got on the board stop in this board I do not feel anything on the back so that's approximately three and a half inches uh, the other one stopped right in the face of the next one so approximately three and three quarter inches and that was with the Rio going uh, 1294 feet per second um, everything else is still blasting right through 22 still trucking along putting a pretty good hole in it so on number five our two original nine mils you know they went all the way through so th those don't really even matter 22 still doing good uh, the last buckshot the, the nine pellet double lot stopped right there now the full metal jacket after going through the four and a half inches to begin with and then those right there the full metal jacket stopped at eight and one quarter inches of solid wood okay now the gold dot I don't know if you can see it in there just maybe in the sunlight but uh, anyway you can see the back of the gold dot and on the next board it just made an imprint so the gold dot gave us a total of just a little over nine inches of, of uh, penetration you know including the wood that was on the front um, surprisingly it did not expand there it goes finally cleared up it, it did not expand at all so and as you can see the 22 is still going right on through so the gold dot stopped at just a little bit over nine inches in the seventh board where the gold dot stopped the 22 came to a stop also and at that depth right there that was about four and three quarter inches of penetration Remington nine millimeter 115 eight and a quarter spear gold dot 124 grain plus P you see the velocity here you see the penetration the real buck averaged about three and three quarter inches uh, the Remington I did not put on wood and then the Rio 4 buck which claims the same velocity as the 9 pellet double aught I didn't uh, chrono it but we got 2 and 3 quarter inches uh, so that's not a big difference of penetration going from a significantly smaller pellet these are 54 grains each and these, I'm going to have to go by memory, I believe that the 4 buck is approximately 21 grains. Well, hope you enjoyed that. See you later.